What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, so today we're going to check out the new Prime 1 Transformers Dark of the Moon Sideswipe statue. This bad boy just went up for PO. They did uh, sh like tease this at the last showcase, not the most one you know a few days ago, the one before that. And it's finally up for PO, $13.99 for the DX bonus version. Uh, so let's uh, check it out. So the bonus part is this little logo, uh, and this little logo came with Optimus Jetwing just here where, but it's always cool to have little logos like this. I'm a fan of little lo logos. So this guy looks like he comes in two pose options, arms down, then the arms out. Uh, so this one, I don't, those don't look like his guns, like that's just him normally. And he has like that, I guess that's part of the car. And then he has the arms out. Now this arms out is from the scene. Uh, you can see actually right behind it has uh, Ironhide also doing it. It was like a four way, they call it like a Mexican standoff. Uh, it was actually a really cool scene. And it was right before Sentinel Prime actually killed Black uh, Ironhide. So looking at this, I would never display the the deluxe. So there is no reason to buy that deluxe. You got to display the arms out look. That is the way to go with this. You know, it's representing an, an exact scene right here from the movie, which is really cool. You're getting the guns, which is much cooler. It opens it up so you can see the chest area a little bit better. The guns look really cool. Does make it slightly whiter but this is the way to display it. If Prime 1 is smart, they'd actually make that the DX, because more people would buy the DX for that, instead of just these arms down look. Yeah, I definitely prefer the guns out look. So I am curious how much cheaper the regular is, and if it also includes that Transformers logo. Let's see, I mean, if it's not a huge price. So it's 100 bucks cheaper. 100 bucks. Let's see, does this one come with that logo? It does not. So you're basically paying $100 for the logo plus the arms. I guess I would still do that. It'll have better resale value, plus if you do decide you want to change the switch out, it's worth it for $100. Yeah, plus, yeah, 100 bucks. Yeah, you'll definitely want to buy that DX. It's only $100. If it was... 200 then I would probably go for the regular, but 100's not a big deal, and you're also getting a logo, so I would say go for the DX. This guy stands 22 inches tall, so he's not super big, you know, that's like the size of Bumblebee. The base is different. This is a newer base. Uh, they haven't done this exact base, so it looks cool, though. I like it. Not like mind-blowingly good, but it's cool. Yeah, with the blades, you save about 9 centimeters on width. So that's the only difference. And technically, it's less deep as well uh, by 9 centimeters. So you're saving 9 centimeters on each side by doing that. Now, it's not up technically for PO. It's going to be on PO, like, you know, very soon. You know, the fact it's right here. I think it's a great statue. Uh, I don't know how good this is going to sell just because, you know, I think he was only in Transformers 3. And he he's not like a super popular character. You know, he had some cool scenes, but he's, you know, like a C-level Autobot. You know, it's still $1,400, which is still a lot of money. But it is a cool overall statue. I think this is a piece for people who only collect Transformers. You know, not your person who just wants, like, the main people. You know, this is for the, the hardcore, only collect Transformers type of statues. You know, like, Dark of the Moon is one of my favorite movies of all time. I freaking love that movie. And if I had tons of space, I would go all in on every single Dark, Dark of the Moon statue. But for me, this is a pass. You know, I don't actually plan to really collect any more Transformer pieces. I mean, they would truly have to blow my mind, and I'd have to sell something if I wanted anything. 
overall, I do like this though, and it would pair great with Ironhide, although Ironhide, we don't have the exact same pose. We don't have the Decepticons, and these Decepticons, I know they're making mini busts of it. Uh, they showcase that at the showcase as well, like mini Decepticon busts of the two. Uh, we haven't seen those go up for PO, but if you were to get this guy, it would be cool to have those little Decepticon busts next to him, as well as Ironhide. You know, like, maybe they'll make the Ironhide statue, who knows? I mean, right now they just got the museum one, and that one's quite popular. It actually sells pretty decent in the aftermarket. So I think if you were to get this, that would be the best way to display it. Ironhide with the Decepticon, you know, on, like, each side sort of forming that little Mexican standoff. Because I don't think Prime 1 will make those full-blown Decepticons, but who knows, maybe they will. They were very cool-looking Decepticons. But you should at least get the mini bus. If you're going to get Sideswipe, you got to get those mini bus. I think that's the best way to display this bad boy. So, yeah, overall, very cool statue, though. I do like it. I love all Transformer statues. I think they're always very cool. The movie versions, I don't like G1 nearly as much. You know, I think the movie just looks so much cooler. You know, so I should be getting this Megatron very soon. <laughs> Uh, you know, mine shipped quite a while ago. Of course, economy shipping, so I'm very excited for it, as as well as my Jetwing Optimus. You know, now these ones are very expensive. Now Jetwing Optimus was like four thousand dollars, very expensive. But yeah, I am very excited to get those too. Very excited. So, but yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think of this uh, Sideswipe statue, if any of you plan to pick him up. I was expecting him to be a little bit cheaper, in all honesty. When I first saw this, and I was pulling it up on my phone, and I saw the image of the statue, I was thinking, yeah, that's about $1,099. You know, similar to, like, my Drift statue, because it's about the same height, same width, similar pose, actually, like, with when I do my swords, like, you know, he's just guns. So I was thinking it's about $1,099, but then they priced it at this, so $1,400. You know, I think in a normal economy, it would have been $1,099, but due to the economy increased prices, I think that's why this is $300 more than what I anticipated. You know, so that's just, you know, the situation we're in. You know, but personally, I think it should have been priced $1,099. But overall, very cool statue. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do have a video I think you guys will really like tomorrow. And I will see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.